Hi mga kawangmat! In this video, we will discuss simplifying fractions or the equivalent fractions. So what will be our objectives? First, we will change a fraction into an equivalent form or ito yun, din yung tinatawag nating lowest term. So when we are getting the equivalent form, um, we need to get the lowest term para makita natin kung equivalent sila. Okay? And then, we will determine if the fraction is equivalent to the other fractions. So, first, what is the basic rule of fractions? So, in finding or in simplifying um, fractions, we need to know the basic rule of fractions. So, remember that for any real numbers A, B, C, where B should not be equal to 0 and also your C, para hindi siya mag-undefined. So, if you have A times C over B times C, that is equivalent to A over B. So, as you can see, kapag meron siyang common factor, ito po, yung C. So, that is equivalent to A over B. Okay? Now, let's have an example. Let us apply the, ano, the given rule. So, if I have here 8 over 20, so we will get the factors of 8 over 20. So, we will have 2 times 4 and then 5 times 4. So, nagkaroon tayo ng common factor which is your 4. Okay? So, makakancel natin yon. So, therefore, we will have 2 over 5. So, 8 over 20 is equivalent to 2 over 5. Okay? So, this is how we apply dun yung basic rule ng fraction. Na kapag meron kayong given, you have to look for the common factors, which is your 4. Kaya kung nakahanap nyo yung common factor nyo, we can cancel that. And what's left is the equivalent fraction. So, 8 over 20 is equivalent to 2 over 5. Now, another way is... Another way is, so I have here 8 over 20. Now, actually, itong common factor natin is this is also your common divisor. Okay? So, kapag itong common factor nyo, dinivide nyo, so halimbawa, ito, 8 divided by 4, that is 2, and then 20 divided 4 is 5. So, another way is look for uh, the common divisor, yung greatest common factor. Uh, actually, this is the greatest common factor nyo. Okay? So, ito na rin siya. So, itong 4 na to, isip kayo ng number na uh, kapag dinivide nyo, pare, uh, pwedeng i-divide sa kanila pareho, kaya nga common, na pwedeng i-divide sa kanila pareho without remainder, of course. So, ang pinakamataas, kaya greatest common factor, so ito po, 8 divide 4, that is 2, and then 20 divide 4, that is 5. So, that's why 8 over 20 is equivalent to 2 over 5. So, ito rin yun. So, yung common factor nila, pwede natin siyang gamitin as common divisor. Okay? Basta, always look for the greatest. Okay? So, 8 over 20 is equivalent to 2 over 5. Another example, I have 15 over 21. So, ang um, factors niyan ay 5 times 3, that is 15. And then, 7 times 3, that is 21. So, meron tayong common factors. We can cancel that. So, therefore, 15 over 21 is equivalent to what? 5 over 7. Okay? We can apply the an, another process. So, ito po yung common factor nila. So, ito po yung tinatawag natin ulit na greatest common factor nila. So, isip ka ng factor na pwede mong i-divide sa kanilang dalawa. So, 3. Diba? Pwede ba ang 4? Hindi pwede kasi um, parehong may remainder. Pwede ba ang 5? Sa 15, pwede si 5. Pero sa 21, hindi dahil may remainder. So, it's just 3. Okay? So, 15 divide 3, that is 5. And then, 21 divide 3, that is 7. So, uh, if you can see, pareho sila ng sagot. Okay? So, 15 over 21 is equivalent to 5 over 7. Okay? So, I have here negative 24 over 64. So, that is... Uh, 3 times 8 and then 8 times 8. So, makakancel natin si 8. And then, ang matitira ay 3 over 8. Now, since negative ito, uh, negative ang sagot natin. So, negative 3 over 8 po. Okay? Kasi ito nakancel natin. Ma bakit ito hindi kinancel? Bakit hindi siya kinancel? Kasi wala namang 8 na dun sa numerator. Wala na siyang kakomon. So, ito lang po ang makakancel natin. Therefore, what's left is 3 over 8. So, negative 3 over 8 because our given is negative. Now, itong 8, pwede natin siyang gamitin as our common divisor. 
So, negative 24 over 64 divided by negative 8. So, 24 divided 8, that is 3. 64 divided 8, that is 8. So, negative siya kasi negative po yung given natin. So, negative 3 over 8 is equivalent to negative 24 over 64. So, again, for us to find equivalent fractions, get their lowest term. O yung isimplify natin sila. Pag sinisi, nag, actually, simplifying is another term for getting the lowest term. Okay? So, kapag nagsisimplify tayo, we are actually getting their lowest term. So, para malaman natin na equivalent sila, kunin natin ang lowest term nila. So, pag pare-pareho sila ng lowest term, ibig sabihin they are equivalent fractions. Okay, another. So, I have 60 over 105. So, that is 4 times 15 ng ating 60. 4 times 15 is 60, and then 7 times 15 is 105. So, we will have, we can now cancel 15, and then what's left is 4 over 7. Another way again, so yung 15, pwede natin, since this is the greatest common divisor nila, so ito po, uh, 60 divide 15, that is 4, and then 105 divide 15, that is 7. So, this is the lowest term, or the equivalent of uh, this is one of the equivalent fractions of 60 over 105. Okay, so isa lang ito. Okay, so again, when we are simplifying fractions, we are actually getting the lowest term. So para malaman natin na equivalent sila, get the lowest term. Okay, so pag pare-pareho sila ng lowest term, pag sinimplify na, then they are equivalent. Okay, so therefore, 60 over 105 is equivalent to 4 over 7. Okay, so give the next three equivalent fractions. So, kayo naman ang magbigay ng susunod. So, yung magkakasunod, okay? So, I have here one half, two fourths. So, kayo po ang magbigay ng tatlong susunod na fractions dyan, okay? So, the answers are 3 over 6, 4 over 8, 5 over 10. Now, when we are getting the equivalent fractions, actually, minsan may pattern siya. Kung pa mapapansin nyo, ito siya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay? May pattern siya minsan. Okay? So, 1 half is equal to 2 fourths and then 3, 6. Bakit may pattern? Kapag sunod-sunod. Kapag consecutive, ha? Pero kapag yan, random fractions, hindi mo makikita yung pattern yan. Okay? Kasi kahit pa malaking fraction na siya, uh, kapag ni lowest term mo at ang lumabas na result ay 1 half, equivalent fraction pa rin yun. Yun nga lang, hindi siya yung susunod na fraction na tatlo. Okay? So, ulitin ko, when we are getting equivalent fraction, since ang hinahanap ay next 3, yung kasunod. So, ito po yung mga kasunod. 3 over 6, 4 over 8, 5 over 10. Okay? So, paano natin check that they are equivalent to 1 half and 2 fourths? So, pag kinuha natin ang lowest term nito, so, 3 divide 3, that is 1, and then 6 divide 3, that is 2. So, that this is also 1 half. So, 3 over 6 is equivalent to 1 half and 2 fourths. And then, ganun din to, pag dinivide natin, this is 1, this is 2. So, 1 half then. And then, this one, pag dinivide natin, 1, this is 2. So, 1 half pa rin. So, therefore, these 3 are the next 3 equivalent fractions of 1 half and 2 fourths. Okay, another. So, I have here 3 fifths and 6 over 10. Okay. So, sige nga. Uh, since uh, next 3 ang kinukuha natin dito, pwede natin i-apply yung pattern, di ba? So, 9 over 15, 12 over 20, and 15 over 25. So, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, there is a pattern. Okay? Kasi sunod-sunod yung fractions natin. Consecutive siya. Okay? Pero kung sabi ko nga, uh, hindi porket nakita nyo na ay hindi siya nakasunod okay, ganun. hindi na siya equivalent hindi ganun po yun uh, nagkataon lang na ito ay next 3 ang hinahanap so makikita nyo yung pattern nya okay? so check natin so dapat ang lumabas kapag ni lowest term natin itong mga to 3 over 5 or 3 fifths so 9 divide 3 that is 3 15 divide 3 that is 5 so 3 fifths ito so equivalent sya dun next this is 12 divide 4, this is 3. 20 divide 4, this is also 5. So, 3 fifths din siya. And then, 15 divide 5, this is 3. 25 divide 5, this is 5. So, 3 fifths din. So, therefore, these 3 are the next 3 equivalent fractions of 3 over 5 and 6 over 10. Another, I have 2 over 7 and 4 over 14. 
So, if you, you you will be using the pattern, pwede rin kasi next three naman ang hinahanap natin. So, makikita natin ang pattern dyan. So, we will have 6 over 21, 8 over 28, 10 over 35. So, as you can see, the pattern is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. Okay, let us check. Get the lowest term or simplify. So, 6 divided 3, this is 2. 21 divided 3, this is 7. So, this is also 2 over 7. So, therefore, 6 over 21 is equivalent to 2 over 7. Another. So, I have here ang greatest common factor nito. O yung pwede natin i-divide sa kanila ay 4. So, 8 divided 4 is 2. 28 divided 4 is 7. So, this is also 2 over 7 which is equivalent to this. And then, the last one is 10 divided 5, this is 2. And then, 35 divided 5, this is 7. So, this is also 2 over 7. Okay? So, again, para makuha natin yung equivalent fractions, marami pong equivalent fractions of 1 half, 3 fifths, 2 over 7. So, marami pong possible na equivalent fractions nitong mga to. Basta tatandaan lang na kapag ni lowest term natin sila when we are getting the equivalent fractions, get the lowest term, dapat ang result niya is ito. Okay? So, kapag hindi yon, ibig sabihin, it's not part of the equivalent fractions. Okay? So, which of the following does not belong to the group? So, I have here 2 fifths, 4 over 10, 6 over 15, 10 over 20, 16 over 40. So, tingnan mabuti ang given natin. Try to get the lowest terms o yung ano nila, isimplify natin. Tingnan natin, alin ang naiiba. Okay. So, this is 2 fifths. Ito, pag sinimplify natin to, this is also 2 fifths. Ito, pag sinimplify natin to, this is 2 fifths. Ito, Pwede natin to i-divide by 10. So, this is 1 half. So, therefore, 10 over 20 is not belong to the group. Why? Because 10 over 20 is uh, can be divided into 10. So, 10 divided by 10, this is 1. And then, 20 divided by 10 <coughs> is 2. So, we have 1 half. Okay? So, ang lowest term niya ay 1 half po. Okay, so since one half ang lowest term niya, and the others are two fifths, so ito pag ni lowest term natin, two fifth, two fifth ito, two fifth ito ay one half, so naiiba siya. So therefore, 10 over 20 is not belong to the group. Another, ayan siya. Okay, another, so alin dito ang hindi kasama? Okay, an um, alin dito ang hindi kasama? So we have... 16 over 24. So, kung i-check natin, bakit siya ang hindi kasama? Pag dinivide natin siya, saan natin siya pwede i-divide? By 8. So, 16 divide 8, that is 2. And then, 24 divide 8, that is 3. So, this is 2 thirds. So, naiiba siya. Unlike this 4, itong apat na to ay pare-parehong 4 over 7. Okay? So, ito po ay pare-parehong 4 over 7. So, ulitin ko, 16 over 24 is not belong to the group. Okay, so ayun siya. And then next, so lalin dito ang hindi kasama. Yes, this is 9 over 15. Let us check. So 9 over 15 is, uh, pag dinivide natin siya, that is 3. That is 3. And then 15 divide 3. So we will have 9 divide 3, that is 3. And then 15 divide 3, that is 5. So we have 3 fifths. Okay, so 3 fifths siya. Unlike this 4, ito ay 3 fourths. So, 3 fourths, ito pag kinuha natin ng lowest term, 3 fourths then, 3 fourths, and then this is also 3 fourths. So, ang 9 over 15, this is 3 fifths. So, siya po ang hindi kasama. Okay? So, test yourself. So, alin po dyan ang hindi kasama? Okay, that is correct. So, 10 over 20. Next. This is? Okay, 32 over 48. Next. Pwede nyo po i-pause ang video para uh, ma-solve nyo muna kung hindi yung lowest term niya o yung equivalent fraction. Now, this one. Okay, that is 5 over 15 kasi this is a 1 fifth. Okay. Next. So, alin dito ang hindi kasama? 
20 over 40 because this is 1 half and this is 2 fifths. And the last one, okay, this is 3 over 7. So, ito po ang hindi kasama. Bakit? Kasi kung kukuni natin ang lowest term nitong apat, uh, ang magiging result niya ay 1 third. So, this is also 1 third, 1 third, this is also 1 third. So, this is 3 over 7. So, ito po ang hindi kasama sa group po. Okay? If you got 5, congratulations. Keep it up. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.